every gas station on the way had a map of Montana and not one of them had this mountain range on the map. And I kept asking, hey, do you know where the crazies are? And they're like, the what? They just like come up out of nowhere. It's like an island of mountains in the middle of Montana. Crazies, named after a woman that went crazy after her family was slaughtered. She moved up into these mountains back in the days of the settlers and they just called her crazy. You, you feel the energy. I mean, it's heavy, it's heavy here. You know, it's a very spiritual place for the crow. And they would come here for their vision quests and um, they said that this was a very unpredictable mountain range. Well, we wanted a storm and we got one. There's uh, heavy medicine up here. I'm gonna get a taste of it, I reckon. Nine o'clock! Jeremy's frothing to go ride some ice. Are you bringing your ice axe? No. Yes! Not bringing the ice axe. Sick. Crampons? Yep. Yeah, crampons. I always Damn. bring crampons. Said, he says mellow. We'll see. We're following Jeremy Jones at the mountain. I'm scared a little bit. Every day, just a little more gripped than the last. To me, that's like the most exciting thing in the world for me to just approach a mountain range I'd never been into before, totally geared up to be able to stay out here for a long period of time. And that's my Disneyland right there. Coming in here, it's always like one of those things when you're, when you're exploring a new zone, you, you, don't, you have expectations that you don't really know what to expect. So with this trip in mind, I really wanted to just walk off the winter um, from the sledding, kind of get away from this octane and, and the fast pace and slow it down. I honestly don't know how any of this happened. <laughs> I got a phone call, somebody says, would you like to go on a splitboarding trip with Jeremy Jones and Mark Carter? You say yes. Everything that has happened to me in my snowboard life so far has been little steps, and this is just another one of those steps. I'm trying something new, I'm like with new people, and I freaking love it. What a basin this is, dude. A lot of riding here. Really different from what I'm used to, doing a rock scramble on the top of a mountain. And like Carter and Jeremy were just like, walk like no big deal. And I'm like on all fours, like gripped like cliffhanger, you know, like one limb at a time. Just a casual little stroll. Yeah. Ugh. Just wake up the body. I'm gonna be okay. This lap is gonna be awesome.
that was gorgeous. started seeing like it wasn't just this little cirque it was this cirque and then another cirque and then all these ridges and valleys that just keep going and it's endless terrain it'd be impossible to shred it all i mean i'm sure jeremy's gonna try to <laughs> into the abyss yeah jerry don't care he told me he rides a lot of ice i think i had somehow forgotten how gnarly he is it's cool to watch somebody with that breadth of experience in the mountains, like attack just everything. Like. Just got rocked out. Look at him coming down that shit. He's like, holy shit, dude. Oh my God. Oh my god. Ice axe to hand. What a boss! Yeah. <laughs> He's so gnarly, dude. <laughs> to that move. I call him a beast, but he's a gentle beast. He's not like beastly, like, Rah! you know, he's kind of just like, he's like a, a zen beast. Little five, six. Oh, yeah. Whew. Everybody watch out, watch out now, I'm ready for the sound, and I came to groove, the whole band's here and we came to move, got a fresh haircut and two new shoes, we're here all night like we got nothing to lose. Like I go out and do this all winter and I do it all winter so I have the legs come springtime that I can go walk all day, day after day. So the fact that they'd never do it and have been hanging is super impressive. Super comfortable in the mountains, just on it on all phases of it. I'm That was sick. She ripped. Yeah, Carter. Little boss. When you're out on a camping trip for this long, just I think taking every day as it is and what you have, you know. Not check your phone, you just like unzip your tent, know that you're gonna get up and go do something. There's no like FOMO of who's doing what on Instagram. It's just, we're just here. And what are you gonna do today? Explore. Forecast is snow coming in and we'd seen a really cool face over this saddle idea is to go get eyes on it for after the storm, but I'm pretty sure if we don't get milked out, we're gonna probably go try to ride something on it. I see clouds coming, but I'm optimistic. I wanna ride Pal though, man. I wanna ride Pal. She's definitely starting to build. Yonder. Yeah, 
uh, you can feel a light wind now this way. It's definitely looking like she's milked. But I'm a little stronger after today. We've dropped into a new bowl. We're gonna know exactly how long it takes to get back out of here. We're gonna have all the beta to come back, climb up these things. We broke new ground. They were calling for like three inches of snow and stars are out and we go to bed and um, it hit. No, we got it. Probably scarier at night. Start questioning how well your tent's tied down. I feel like you're gonna blow away. All right, moment of truth. Brave the elements, trying to time a wind gust. <laughs> Woke up to a battered camp, had to dig for the stove. I don't think any of us were totally prepared. Hopefully we don't get too much. We just get enough to kind of rebuff everything out. With that much terrain and that much snow above you, it's kind of like something you gotta really respect and, and move slowly around. Went from like spring conditions, but icy, to like full pow. And we had no idea what it was gonna do. It was kind of an eerie feeling. Either we were gonna get on everything or we weren't gonna get on anything at all. Wake up to just like morning of the earth, beautiful, sunny, breathless, cow filled mountain. And I'm sure enough, felt really stable. This is like not April pow, this is like pow. And then it's stable. Like it just doesn't get better than that. Perfect Robin. pretty quickly diverted to this trophy face that we'd seen earlier in the trip. And when you're going up these big lines like that, with me, I mean, I have a half a foot, like ready to turn back at all times. So I'm like, wow, still good, keep going, still good, keep going, wow, this feels great, keep going. And it was just like screaming yes all the way up that thing and I couldn't believe it. I mean, all the things that need to line up for that to happen, it's, it's a mini miracle.
that's <laughs> 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 Sun? Oh, oh my god. Is it red? Yeah. You know, I just want to surround myself with people who I can get inspiration from and improve my own snowboarding. Like, whether or not I keep doing trips where I'm using an ice axe or a crampons is a question. But every piece of information that I'm learning here, I am taking home. Which I am so grateful for, like, an opportunity to do that. I pay a lot of attention to what is going on when I'm in mountains like this, like seeing animals at certain times and just kind of like looking for omens and, and you know, really connecting and, and, and feeling what, what's going on out here, what the energy is. And this whole trip has been good and positive, you know, and I didn't know that coming into these mountains because I know they're unpredictable and there's definitely some superstitions. So, but it's just doing this, you know, with the people I trust and standing on top of these mountains and seeing things only the eagles see, you know is pretty special. Everybody was tired except for Jer. I mean, like the dude never stops. It's unreal, I've never seen anything like it. Just his excitement for exploring and riding different stuff. You know, it's been really, really cool. There's this steep line that I've been looking at for my tent and I just kind of couldn't take it anymore. And decided today would be a good day to go walk up the thing. I've been doing it long enough to realize that, um, you know, you're always like, oh, I'll come back for that. And the reality is, is it's what I call the wonderful problem is there's just so many mountains out there in the world. And the, and the odds are is that I won't be back, which is why I'm going to be here until the bitter end going, hold on, don't leave because one more line up there. And I don't know if I'll ever be back here again. So start rationing so we can hit that one more line. That was it. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>